right, um, boxing fans, it's here. Floyd Mayweather Jr. will fight Canelo Alvarez on September 14th, the MGM brand. This is huge. And, um, I just want to say that, you know, probably until like three, four years ago, I wasn't a huge Floyd Mayweather fan. But, um, you know, once you really start to, to pay attention and just decipher and, and study fights, you, you, I mean, like him or hate him, you got to appreciate the man's skill level. Um, it, it really is uncontested. He, uh, I don't think we're going to see talent like that again for a long time, if ever. Uh, let me tell you why Floyd beats people. Okay. You can call him a cherry picker, whatever, but Manny Pacquiao is a bigger cherry picker because, I mean, really, like, Pacquiao fought an old Mosley. He fought uh, a damaged Cotto. He fought an uh, old De La Hoya and uh, damaged Ricky Hatton. You know, and, and uh, Floyd beat all those people already. You know, Floyd beat Cotto when he was uh, back. He beat a good Cotto. Um, he fought De La Hoya when De La Hoya was the man with 10-ounce heavyweight gloves at De La Hoya's weight of 154 in a small ring. Everything De La Hoya wanted. He's fighting Alvarez at a uh, negotiation with the team, but they didn't have to because, um, you know, Del Hoya being a big hypocrite on it, you know, like saying that Canelo should fight at 154, and don't call out, you can't make his weight flat, don't call someone out. I mean, anyway, it's going to be a good fight because, you know, Canelo's Canelo got skills, but this is where you guys are going to really see the difference between the skill here and the skill here. Because Floyd's skill, the Canelo's skill, is going to go like that. All right there. I don't see Canelo. Canelo's going to give a good fight for three, four rounds. And then the weight's going to kick. Because he has trouble making like this before a little bit. And I heard, you know, it's not fat, I don't know, but I heard it's going to be a 153 <laughs> max limit. So I don't think Canelo's allowed to weigh more than 153 on fight day. Which fatigue is going to gonna really, really cut into that. It's going to drain him. But, you know, he shouldn't have taken a fight if it's going to affect him that much. And, you know, Floyd's going to have to gain some weight, which makes him a little bit slower. But... It's going to come down to, to just straight skill, watch eye, and, and boxing. But I really do think that Floyd's going to go for the finish on it because I believe he can, first of all. Um, and he's going to, he's going to outbox him for a while, and then he's just going to step in and just start committing it. Throw those right hands. And, uh, you know, he does have to watch out, though, because you know he's got some skill, man. You know, he's no joke, he's no pussy. And uh, it's going to be a good fight. And mark my words right now, this fight is going to set up Floyd's final fight, his fifth and final deal, okay? It's going to be a rematch with Canelo, where he will beat him again. Floyd, honestly, like, Mayweather has everything to lose. Canelo has everything to gain, and you got to give Floyd props for having the fucking soul to take this fight, because that, that, that really is when, when, when you prove you, you're great, when you're been at the top forever, and you're going to fucking take on a young cat that's fucking hungry, and it's barking, barking at you, and you know, you just kind of been like, oh, whatever, 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 and you, you know, Canelo got it. He gets, he, congratulations to Canelo for taking the drug test. 
for fucking accepting less money than Pacquiao wanted to do, and, and for fucking wanting to be the best, you gotta fight the best, and props to Canelo for, for stepping up and, and doing what he had to do to fight the best out there. You gotta give Canelo props, man. He's, he's a fucking, he's a man, he's a fool. He's got balls, and man, but there's got fucking serious balls taking this fight, because it's a dangerous fight. But Canelo's gonna bring the best out of Floyd, and Floyd's gonna get it. The best out of Canelo, but Canelo's not ready. He will be ready on their on their rematch, but he's gonna compete again. Because I really don't think. I mean, I honestly believe like Floyd is ready to fucking die to protect that boat. He he will protect that O at all costs, and it's gonna be it's gonna come down to conditions. Because I got watched the trout fight and you know I did, you know, like he was he was good for that fight and, and trout you know they were. And and trout fucked well, you know. But look for I'd say nine, ten tenth round knockout, possibly. If not definitely you know, you know decision. But Floyd's gonna he's gonna put it to Canelo and the haters are gonna hate and this and that, but uh it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be a good fight. Somebody's gonna push me away with the limit, they're gonna try muscle pump, but he's just gonna get out of the field. I mean Canelo doesn't he doesn't uh, angle as much as he should. He doesn't come with pressure though, and he's gonna lay off he's gonna fucking empty some clips, you know, he's gonna be like pop, 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 pop. But I don't think he's gonna, you know, he's, he's orthodox, so Floyd's gonna have that shoulder roll on. And, um, he's, he's just gonna. He's got something for Canelo's ass, man. He's got something for everybody's ass. You yeah. know? It's gonna be good, man. And, um, yeah, he's gonna take one of the later rounds, and then that's where he's just gonna finish. Because, I mean, you have to admit to every fight, man, it, it's like the eighth round. The fighters are starting to sit back a little bit, get a little bit lazier, take their time. Boy, he's pushing it down. He's fucking putting the gas up, and he's attacking, attacking, attacking. And uh, I don't think Canelo's ready. I just don't think he's good enough. Don't get me wrong, I honestly think he's in the top five fighters out there right now. But Floyd's just a whole new, a whole new deal, man. I mean, Guerrero was tough. I mean, Guerrero couldn't do shit. Canelo's no Guerrero. Canelo's better than Guerrero, Guerrero but uh, I don't see, I haven't seen enough in Guerrero's game or not. Canelo's game to, to really see where he's at. Because, you know, he beat Mosley. You know, he beat a uh, Trout. Oh, the Cedar, but he's way bigger than him. Trout, I really think it's a rematch. I think Trout would give But Trout has like a huge obstacle. He's a lefty. He's tall. He's just that fucking reach. Canelo will fall good against that guy. It's up to me. I don't want money on that fight. I'm sure I'm going to win. But, um, Ross Deploy, if you're a boxing fan, buy this fight. If you're not a boxing fan, buy this fight. It's going to be good. And, uh, Mayweather is, is going to win. Fuck, man, I couldn't believe this shit when I heard it. But, uh, it's going to come down to, like, well, it's just going to get that distance every time. Just after the distance, stop his rhythm, bam, move, protect control, hit. It's just going to, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a, a clinic, man. It's going to be a clinic. It's going to win this fight. And, going to set up a final fight rematch. Alright, good day for boxing, man. Stop it easy. Show up.